Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'll be doing a unboxing, a review and a testing of this 610 watt impact corded hammer drill which I paid £19.99 for from Aldi supermarket here in the UK. So here it is the Ferex 610 watt impact drill. I bought this um, recently from Aldi supermarket here in the UK for £19.99 so I don't use these very often I tend to use a cordless combi drill but every now and again you need to drill through something um, or you might need to do a lot of holes in some concrete or some brick so this just makes light work of it so um, let's just take a look at the box um, it's 230 to 240 volts drilling capacity Metal 13mm, wood 30mm, variable speeds, 13mm keyless chuck, lock on trigger switch, rubber over mould grip. So now let's uh, open up this and see what you get. So it comes in a, a little carry case, nice neat little case. Bearing in mind, this is only £19.99 in the year 2023, so um, I would say getting a case at all um, for that price point is quite um, unexpected. So inside we get the manual with the three year warranty. There's the, uh, the handle that you can screw on to help you when you're drilling into brick, you can hold on to it, and you'll see that later on in the video. It also has this depth gauge that you can use um, to mark how deep you want to go. You can adjust it on here. Um, I don't tend to use those. I prefer to put some electrical tape around the drill bit to sort of mark the depth, but it has one if you want it. And then you have the drill itself. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. And the case has over here, I noticed lots of little indentations i suppose you might be able to put some some small drill bits in here so that might be useful also so here is the drill and it has the uh, backwards and forwards lever here it also has um, within the main switch an integrated speed set in here. You can speed up the drilling and slow it down. I've not had that feature on one of these drills before, so that's good. You have uh, the keyless chuck here, which uh, I've just checked. It, it meets up nicely. Um, it's quite, quite well made, I think. Feels good. The, uh, the ends meet up nicely here. And then on the top, you have um, drill mode and hammer mode. Here is the handle for the added sort of grip. It just slides over the chuck end here. And then you use the handle here to just tighten it onto the machine. So that gives you a bit of extra purchase when you're drilling into some brickwork. I do like that, it works well. It goes on easily, it comes off quite easily as well. And then you can put in your, your little gauge if you wish to, um, to set your depths if you want to. And this 
can be rotated, I think, as well. If you wanted it up high, for example, you could have it like that. But on the box, it shows that it's used down here. So here's the keyless chucking operation. Slides nice and tight up to the point. And then you've got the two sections to get a nice tight grip on that. Feels pretty good. I expect that's going to work just fine. So I'm just going to uh, demonstrate the various speed settings. So I've got it on the minimum speed here. Now I'm going to turn it up to the maximum just by twisting here and I suppose somewhere you can use it somewhere in between but that was the lowest this is the highest back to the lowest so I can definitely hear a difference there in the tone between high and low so I needed to drill some holes in some brickwork. So I've got about a six millimeter masonry bit here set up in the drill. And I'm gonna try out the fastest speed setting and set it to hammer mode. On the fastest setting, I found it to be quite aggressive. So I didn't need it to be so fast. So I then put it onto the slowest setting. Here you can see I'm drilling through the mortar of the bricks. and now directly through the brick and um, this was absolutely fine um, it was quite quick quicker than any combi drill I've ever used so um, it done the job quite fast and you can see I needed to do quite a few holes for these battens for some shelving in this shed and the shelving is some recycled old doors and I've just used scraps of wood for the battens now I'm going to give it a go in some softwood. I've got an 8mm bit here. I found the chuck to be um, to be fine. No problems at all. It grabbed the bit nice and tightly. Now I've got it set in drill mode. And it goes through the wood like butter really easily. Now I'm going to try a 20mm spade bit. This was a little bit slower. But again no problem. Okay, so that is about it for the review. Uh, my first impressions of this drill, bearing in mind that it only costs £19.99. Um, I think it is a very good value for money. The handle works okay. Um, it's a fairly powerful drill, so even on the lowest um, speed setting, I managed to drill something like 24 holes in brickwork with no problem. It worked well, it performed well. The keyless chuck works quite well too. Um, this is probably a tool that I won't use very often, so um, it's really useful to have when you've got to drill a lot of holes into walls. Um, a few little niggles. The uh, forward and reverse trigger is a little bit sensitive, especially when you're wearing gloves. Uh, I knocked it into uh, the opposite mode a few times, but um, that's not a big problem at all. Um, I didn't really use the high speed setting because I found it a bit too aggressive on brickwork, not really essential. I'll be using it on the lowest speed and that works fine for me. And the, uh, the case is a little bit on the small side when you're packing away. It's quite tight and compact, so it's a bit awkward to get everything back in the case. Although on the other hand, it's nice to have a small case because it's easier to store. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.